Youth Rights Group is prepared to sue the Lee County School District if administrators don't expunge the suspension given to that teenager many are calling a hero. This comes more than a week after a Cypress Lake High School student was suspended after he wrestled a loaded 22 caliber revolver away from a would-be gunman. Four and a quarter's Matt Grant broke this story last week. He is live tonight with the latest. Matt? Well, the school's principal won't talk to us, but she did tell the organization that she stands by the suspension, something the group promises to fight. We are not identifying this Cypress Lake High School student because he fears for his safety. But many are calling him a hero after he wrestled a loaded gun out of the hands of a would-be shooter. He believes he prevented a tragedy. If you didn't tackle him, what do you think would have happened? More of us would have been dead, not just one. This student deserves to be praised, not punished. Jeffrey Nadell is president of the National Youth Rights Association. The Washington, D.C.-based group advocates for young people nationwide and is now representing the teen's family. This student should be hailed as a life-saving hero. And instead, school officials have mindlessly adhered to a circumstance-blind school policy instead of looking this young man in the eyes and saying, thank you. According to the original referral, the teen was suspended because he was involved in an incident where a weapon was present. The school later altered the document to say it was because he was uncooperative in the investigation and lied to police. The teen admits withholding information but says it was because he feared for his life. You don't talk around it. Because then what, you get a bad reputation? Not when you get killed. We need to look at the circumstances holistically. Again, he had just been involved in an incredibly traumatic incident. Nadell's group says he was under no obligation to answer questions and objects to the teen's description of his treatment, saying he was never offered counseling and was subjected to a lengthy interrogation. This young man was interrogated for four hours against his will by school and law enforcement officials, and he was consistently denied access to his mother or to an attorney. Nadell says he just wants the suspension expunged from the teen's record, and he's prepared to fight for that. He should not have a suspension on his record for his heroism. And if the district signals to us clearly that they are unwilling to do the right thing, then a lawsuit is definitely in the cards. Nadell says if they go forward with a lawsuit, it would only be to cover attorney fees and force the school district to remove the suspension from the teen's record, not for money. Since the incident happened on the school bus, Nadell questions if the bus driver was suspended and what he did, if anything, during the incident. We tried reaching out to the school district today for comment, but we did not hear back. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4, in your corner.